Well, Angelina Jolie has been making headlines this week for her courageous decision to undergo a double mastectomy. And that's got us thinking about what motivated her decision. Dr. Elon Avon is making a house call this morning talking about what options are out there for people at risk for developing cancer due to genetics. And I think that when Angelina Jolie came out, it was like, oh my gosh, this is an issue that maybe we should really should be talking about because it was such a a gutsy move to, in, to prevent it, but also for a lot of women, Hearing that you have cancer is always, I think, a worry in the mm -hmm. back of our minds. Right, Christine, yeah. Um, it is, and it really highlights the small percentage of women uh, overall who are at risk for this kind of uh, mm -hmm. genetic or familial cancer. Um, there are lots of options available for them, but I think it really starts with a woman knowing a bit about her family history um, and then seeking, if needed or indicated, uh, advice from a genetic counselor or their doctor. And what's nice is that there are resources out there today to find out how at risk you are and to find out, you know, if your family has uh, uh, any sort of risk for this, if you're going to find, I mean, there are resources out there for us. There are. Um, there are several different uh, models that are used for family history. Okay. Um, there are also known risk factors uh, independent of family history. We also ha now have genetic testing that is a uh, more and more sophisticated and is able to find mutations that put women and other you know, and men as well at higher risk for certain types of cancer. Breast cancer for this BRCA that uh, Angelina Jolie uh, yeah. you know, has, but others as well that affect the colon, rectum, you know, uterine, ovary, cervix, brain. There are lots of different uh, sites that a certain mutation can put a person at risk for. So one patient with a certain mutation could be at risk for cancer in many different sites in their body. At what point in your life do you decide that this needs to happen? I mean, is it when you get to 25 and you're a woman or we were talking about men too? I mean, when do you need to start taking action just to figure out what's going on in your body? That's a great question. I think it's probably not, it's, it's really never too early, okay. if, especially if you know uh, of a strong family history in your family. Um, you should talk with your doctor about being tested, um, but uh, it really depends. The age of onset for some of these varies okay. a lot by the type of mutation, but I think that the take-home thing is that uh, it's very important to ask about and to know your family history for different types of cancer. And speaking of that, Novant Health just launched a new cancer risk clinic that just opened a couple of weeks ago. Talk about what that's providing for people. Right. Yeah, the uh, Novant Medical Group launched a clinic um, which I'm the medical director of and the goal is for patients that are at risk for several different types of cancers um, to provide an individualized and personalized uh, plan for them for surveillance. Um, sometimes for breast it'll involve things like adding maybe an MRI to their mammogram, okay. ultrasound and clinical exam or um, screening for colon cancer, other types of cancers. Um, for even for one patient. So um, screening and uh, individualized surveillance is one part of it. The other part is uh, providing treatment options, even prevention yeah. of cancer risk reduction by medication or by surgery. It certainly can be a scary thing to talk about with your family members, even to acknowledge yourself, but it's great to know that there's resources out there to help.